Hello. Many of you reading this will already be familiar with our work, but for those of you who aren't, let us introduce ourselves. People's Voice Media is a social change charity that is committed to changing the world, one story at a time. Our vision is to create a just world in which people's lived experience is heard, valued and has influence. We use lived experience storytelling, or as we call it, community reporting, as a tool for social change. Our work supports people to improve their own world and the world around them by using their experiences to address inequalities and achieve social justice. We work with people's stories to inform services, research and policy and seek to change institutions, systems and society for the better. This is our annual learning report. It's based on a series of reflective interviews carried out with the people we've worked with on 17 social change projects in the last 12 months and our own team. In these interviews, or rather conversations, we chat about our work and the changes we are seeing because of it. These conversations help us identify the impact we are making, as well as how we can improve what we do. The report will look at individual impact and learning, or the effect our work has had on people's lives, organisational impact and learning, which is how what we do affects communities, services and institutions, systemic impact and learning, which is how we are contributing to larger waves of change. And lastly, internal impact and learning, how we are developing as an organisation. Key differences our work has made on an individual level include we've enabled people to set their own agendas and change the power dynamic. We've strengthened relationships between people and their services. Developed people's confidence, skills and capacities and shared knowledge between people. What we've learned is that it's important to be clear about how people's stories will be used and realistic about the change we hope to create with them. Have feedback loops with storytellers to demonstrate that we value their contributions and that they are aware of the impact that their stories have had. We also need to rethink and improve how we work in rural areas to ensure that we open up access to people and that the experience is one of value. The key differences our work has made at an organisational level include that organisations are embracing bottom-up processes over top-down ones and are changing traditional power dynamics in their settings. Our Train the Trainer model provides organisations with the skills and scope to work with lived experiences beyond one initial project and the insights in people's stories enable organisations to develop services and support communities. What we've learned is that we need to do more to help partners create the conditions in their organisations to make changes to their power structures. We should strengthen how we support organisations to work with the learning they get from people's stories and how they implement them. And we should be clearer on our responsible storytelling core principles and work with partners to ensure that the storytellers they work with feel respected, valued and secure. The key differences our work has made at a systemic level include that partners and storytellers are often committed to continuing with community reporting outside of their work with us. This can lead to changes in working cultures and practices. The insights in the stories are uncovering changes that need to be made on a much wider scale. This is pushing our partners to think about joined up change and working in partnership to create it. What we've learned is that we must always be critically evaluating ourselves and our methods so that we do not become part of the problem. We should never strive to be best practice and always be emergent practice, that it is open to learning and change. We should enhance how we use the community reporter network to establish connections between people, communities and organisations that can facilitate joined up systemic change. Key differences our work has made on the internal level is that our team has developed a strong sense of pride in the work People's Voice Media does. We are actively rewiring our own learned behaviours and we are striving to be wholly anti-racist, although there is still work to do. What we've learned is that we need to do more to be fully inclusive, including strengthening our understanding of neurodiversity. We must continue to lean into learning. Based on the learning in this report, we are making some commitments to shape people's voice media for the future. Over the next 12 months, we will continue to develop our anti-racism work, 
Be open to learn and to change. Provide a platform for different voices to be heard. We will improve our support, training and resources for the Community Reporter Network, communications and feedback loops with people involved in our projects, and how we equip partners with the skills to implement the insights from people's stories. We will change the way we work by enhancing accessibility and inclusion for specific groups, spending more time preparing the right conditions for our work to flourish, and joining up the learning across people, partners and projects, and actively pushing wider systemic change.